Chris Calanzanis. I'm Julian Winnicor. And I'm Kai Higdon, and we are from the Department of Plastic Surgery at Vanderbilt University Medical Center. We're here to discuss our paper, The Incidence and Risk Factors for Major Hematomas in Aesthetic Surgery, analysis of 129,007 patients, which will be published in the upcoming November-December issue of the Aesthetic Surgery Journal. Postoperative hematoma is one of the most frequently encountered complications following cosmetic surgery. Identifying risk factors for hematomas has been limited by underpowered studies from single institution experiences. In our study, we reviewed a large multi-institutional, multi-surgeon national insurance database of patients undergoing aesthetic surgery. Our goal was to determine the incidence of major hematomas, i.e. those requiring emergency room visit, hospital admission, or reoperation within 30 days of the index operation, among some of the most commonly performed cosmetic procedures, as well as different procedure combinations. Another objective of the study was to identify risk factors that predispose to hematomas. Over a five-year period, we evaluated over 127,000 patients and found major hematomas to be the most common complication, affecting 1,180 patients, which equals 0.9%. On logistic regression analysis, several independent predictors for major hematomas were identified, including age, male gender, the procedure being performed in a hospital setting rather than an office-based suite, um, breast procedures rather than body and face procedures, and combined procedures. So in conclusion, our study has shown that major hematoma was the most common complication after cosmetic surgery procedures, but the overall incidence was still low. Male patients, those patients undergoing breast surgery, and patients undergoing combined procedures were found to have significantly higher risk for developing a major hematoma. Other significant risk factors for hematomas including increasing age, procedures performed in a hospital setting, which may simply reflect the selection of higher risk patients by well-qualified plastic surgeons. A thorough knowledge of these risk factors will improve plastic surgeons' ability for safer patient selection for cosmetic procedures, as well as to educate patients on their individual complication profile, set more realistic expectation with the patients, and potentially enhance the patient satisfaction. We hope you will read our article in the upcoming November-December issue of ASJ. Thank you.